Silver Pro France, and then there were four. Semi-final number one in the water, Jeremy Flores versus Jack Freestone. This is gonna be the battle of dad power as we're gonna start off with Jeremy Flores and what he's been doing all day today, finding a barrel and finding an exit. Kaipo Guerrero along with Peter Mel and my good friend Strider Wazalewski. Well, that's exactly what Jeremy wants to do. He finds himself back in rhythm. Feeling from the surfers themselves. Watch this way, Pete. Quick one for Jeremy Flores to be able to find that quick barrel. Not gonna be a huge number, but a good rhythm booster. Crowd loves it. The crowd. Slow-mo slow look, Strider. All right, well, just the, the feeling is alive, you know, and, and to identify that first wave, get under the hook, get totally barreled. I mean, it was a quick one, but that's what La Graviere is. It's a very intense, quick ride that you need to execute, and he did that. Here we go. Loading up. Freestone. alley -oop. Slams it to the roof, but goes incomplete. I like the intent from Jack Freestone. Take it to the air. Think about points of difference, right? What, how are you going to beat your competitor? What can you do you feel like you can do better? That's exactly what Jack Freestone can do. He can go above the lip. The offshores are done. It's all glassy now. The ramp is there. The power is there. So he can go extra high if you want. And what I was alluding to was the fact that there is a defined peak out there. You can see it. Uh, it's just to the side of each of these big out-the-back peaks. Jack up and out on a frothy one on the inside. But, you know, it's, it's a combination of things. It's... You know, you can see the two sandbars out the back. There's a channel in the middle. And like Pete said, the water's being able to, the swells are marching through that channel. Wanted to surf this inside shore break the whole entire time. He's like, finally, I've got a heat on the inside. Take a look. Flores, pig dog in here. Nice left-hand barrel. Oh! And Jeremy Flores continues. Oh! Oh! Finishes on the sand. And the French crowd goes wild. He's loving this moment. This is the first time he's had, he's been able to actually entertain the crowd. How cool is that? Ale Flores, man, that was <laughs> Ale Flores. Yeah. Ale Jeremy. You can feel it. That was a beautifully negotiated backhand barrel. By the way, that was, just as you mentioned, that was a sick line into it. Look at how he stalls out, and then he gets pounded, and somehow has the ability to keep himself on top of that board. He literally was having the lip on the head and well, kept it together. He he actually lets go of the rail coming out of the end. Or he does all the work to get in, beats his way through it, and then right here he lets go, and then he comes out hands off. So that's a, a technical that's mental. A, added a variety to the to the side of, of tube riding. That's so hard to do. And that's something you would see guys like Andy Irons do, and, and I think that's a, almost a tribute to our man AI right there. Oh, look at that. Just like push the nose a bit. Has to push through that. Look. Oh, no, the thing's squashing him onto a surfboard, and somehow, at this point, he's like, wait, am I still in here? And that's all just feel and understanding how boards, you know, slide up on your feet and the grip coming, and then there he is. He's going to release his hands. So cool. It was, uh, I mean, that is such, that is deep technical barrel riding. That's exactly what the judges were asking of him today. How's the shot with the fans in the <laughs> foreground just going nuts on the shoreline? That's that what we cool. came for. That's what they came for. Beautiful surfing Jeremy Flores. Answering back here, Jack Freestone finds a right of his own. Barrel, but just gets shut down. And the, the full body uh, experience on that wave, you know, backhand tube riding, you know, you always have your whole body against the wall. You're utilizing it to go slower or faster. You think about the whole day, he has by far been the surfer with the, the best points all day long, the, the best easy heats. I mean, he's been just putting it well, away we, early. Yeah, we said it. He, he started out with that rhythm this morning, and you know, for him to do the same thing in this heat, he would have given him that same kind of, oh, it's on. Yeah, this is my day. You know, find those quality waves. I mean, again, we just had a shift. It just happened in one heat. It's going to be freestone on the backhand. Going to turns, nice sweeping backhand re-entry. Probably looking for a finish here, maybe an air section, and just drops off in the shore dump. That's going to be his best number so far, and try to claw out of this two-wave combination that he's currently in. There's some adjustment period. Um, that's why it took so long to see Jeremy's score of that 9.0 come out, because you think about the shore break, it's a whole different style of wave. I like what the judges did, because they understand how difficult that was. 
This is the Quicksilver Pro France on Fox Sports. Semi-final number one out in the water. We're halfway through that semi-final. 14 minutes and 30 seconds. And Jeremy Flores right here putting on a commanding performance. Oh, J. Flo Jezza is on fire. He's living here. up to his nickname, the J. Flo. He is in everything is flowing his way. Incredible, really. I mean, he's making it look easy. Over. He's already gotten like, I mean, this is his third you know, solid score on the board. He's dominating the lineup. He's everywhere he goes. He's on the right wave. I feel like Jeremy is going to win this heat. I would say you're a pretty safe bet at this point. But, uh, you know, bettering the 5-8-3, big wave, intense. Again, deep technical barrel riding, all of those things you need to have in order to get big numbers. He's coming out of the, these barrels with English on him. I mean, just mad steez. And that's what we like to see. Uh, somebody with some swagger. And you know what? Jack's definitely got swagger. And he, he can mount a comeback, but he better get started because he, you know, this kid's on fire right now, Jeremy Flores. He's gone way above that in this heat. 16.33, two-wave total. Jeremy Flores up and out there. Even the kickouts are steezy. Well, you know what's interesting is that Jeremy has left his post in this heat. We got a great bank on the beach, and we have light offshore winds. Let's see, Jack Freestone has for us. Finds the barrel, a little backwash in the tube. Screams through that section, but no exit for Freestone. She gave him a leash earlier. Ready to go. He's back up and riding. Looking down the line on this another left, no opportunity there, he kicks out. Peter, I was in the Red Bull Athlete Zone, and I was looking at some of the fins uh, on the board rack. Love it. Oh, Jack, mounting a comeback. Jack Freestone, can he find an exit? And again, La Gravier gobbles him up. By the way, Flores has been giving him those reps. Flores is sitting go. back with priority, so he, go. he knows what he's looking at, and he's going, is that going to be it? No. Jeremy Flores taking a look at that. I would just recommend for Flores just to take a safe wave in and save that board for the final because the blade looks incredible as well. It does look a little bit aged. It looks like one that he's held on to for a while. Sometimes those little step-up boards get stuck around, and this is one that he's had for a while, and obviously it's working out really well for him. Well, we got our first finalist, one for France.